Hey everybody, welcome to the Obscure Toy Files. I'm your host, as usual, Boggs, and I am doing a review today on the Kenner 1991 Terminator 2 Mobile Assault Vehicle. But the main reason why I am reviewing this today and unboxing it is not because it's for Terminator. No. It's because it used to be, it is the Vandal 1 vehicle from Robocop that was never made. As you can see from the side-by-side -side comparisons, we'll do a little back shot because you can see the actual toy itself. But look at that. that look, that's the Vandal 1, all right. 110%. They just... Added some other doodads onto it. So we're going to pop this sucker open and see exactly how much of it they did change. And what we can do to make it like the Vandal 1. Because I actually want to use it for uh, Robocop. I really don't feel like using it for Terminator because it's not designed for him. And to drive it today, we have our awesomely cool dude with his stretch pants. Headhunter. <laughs> sit over there. Or fall over. Whatever you want to do. Maybe you should just sit down. Take a load off. You can chill out there. I purchased this for the, from the fine folks over at Spokane Action Figures on Instagram. Please go check them out. If you're in Spokane, Washington, go check out their store. They have amazingly cool stuff. This thing is so old, the tape just... The, tape just, the, the, the glue just went poof, poof. We open it up. We see that. Kenner, we really do care. If you're not satisfied with the quality of this project. Pro project product, please call 1 800 347 4613 or write include name, address, and phone number to Kenner Products Consumer Affairs Department 0114 Vine Street, Cincinnati, Ohio 45202. I don't think you do that anymore because Kenner was absorbed by Hasbro and there's no more Kenner at all. Although they still put the logos on things. All right, so we're gonna slide this out. Thwap. Box can go over here because we're not going to be using that right now. We have our Vandal 1 slash Terminator 2 mobile soul vehicle in its cocoon, in its vegetative state, ready to be unleashed upon the world. Are you excited, Headhunter? Yes. He's very excited. So I'm just going to do a little view of how this is in there. Oh, an action toy guide! Heck yeah! This is, oh, it's got the claw, starting the lineup, yay. Savage Bundle Blitzers, Nerf, Robert and Prince of Thieves, Capital Critters, and Batman Returns, I think. I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Batman Returns stuff. Pretty cool. I really, I'm, I've always wanted to get the Skydrop Airship. That's, like, on my list of, like, random things to buy. <clears throat> this is a cool bat cave. Lots of fun. And Terminator 2 stuff. Yeah, that's actually the original vehicle for this line. And starting line, I was going to Savage Mondo Blitzers. They're crazy. I have some of these in the other room. Apparently, some of these didn't get made in this country. Uh, the Rampaging Road Raiders didn't get made here, I think. And I believe Brains Not Included didn't get made here either. All the other assortments that came out, and this crazy eight uh, eight pack got released in Europe only. Some of them are cool. I like the lawnmower guy. That's it's pretty neat. And then Robert Hood Prince of Thieves action figures, which use a lot of reused parts from superpowers. Yeah, these you use a lot of reused superpowers figures. Uh, the Gamma Ring and Guards body was reused for Fire Tuck. And a lot of the accessories were reused. This is the indoor playset from Star Wars Return of the uh, Jedi. This is the battle wagon from Return of the Jedi. And these accessories are actually from Bone Age, which is a weird line I'll be reviewing at some point if I haven't. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. I talk about it on my blog. You have the screwtoyfiles.blogspot.com. And they turn up the flash on this for a sec. Boop. Yeah, the Bola Bomber. That's actually two different uh, Bone Age vehicles. It's the bottom half of the Spear Slinger and the top half is the Bullet Bomber. 
And then the net launcher was originally the tangle trap. And what's interesting, we can do a little zoomage so you can see it better. So these were made for two inch tall caveman figures. You see that little gray piece right here next to Robin? That's actually where the caveman would stand because the cavemen were two inches tall. So they just took the whole thing and reused it for this because you know, it worked for the most part. But that vehicle, the only thing they changed was those wheels. Instead of giving them like bone wheels or stone wheels, they made them like more medieval style wheels. So if you have Bone Age toys and you want to have some accessories to go with them that probably weren't produced because I've yet to find them in the box, there you go. That was neat. Capital Critters. I'll oh, zoom back in. The Capital Critters, they very short lived cartoon show on primetime, very short lived toy line. Those you can find very cheap. And then Nerf guns and stuff. Nerf bow and arrow. That's a good one right there. This is a sticker sheet. I'm losing all the stuff. Oh, now apparently this sticker sheet is accurate to the original sticker sheet that was supposed to be on the original Vandal. Except for that T. That was supposed to be the Vandal symbol. Which, uh,. It's that, that little skull. So we're going to just, I might just apply these ones and then leave that off until I can put a vandal sticker on it. Um, Alright, so let's unearth this. Oh, what's good to know is that this thing comes in the box just like that, so I can put this back in the box when I'm done. That'll make it easier to store. Some of these vehicles come together and you got to do a whole bunch of complicated stuff to get them back in the box again. But that just kind of lifted right out. Let's make sure I get this in the shot. Perfect. Okay, lights on. Get some flashes. All right, so from the original Vandal one to the, the Terminator uh, mobile assault vehicle, they changed a couple of things. One of the things they changed was, I can I'll do my zoom in again. Get rid of the flash for a second so there's no glare. Zoom in, zoom. Can you zoom in? Partner is too shaky. All right, so the Vandal one, they ha used to have a triple missile launcher on the side, and there was a windshield. It looks like they left a windshield out, and they changed the way the missile launcher looks. But for the most part, it's the exact same vehicle. They really didn't alter it structurally, which makes me think that they must have had steel tooling made for this. I feel like they must have ha went to the factory, brought the vehicle there. Yeah, it says like, 1991 Carlico on the bottom it doesn't mention anything about 20th Century Fox or anything. Like that. So I mean, it wasn't like they didn't own the rights to this Terminator thing. It has nothing to do with Robo uh, Terminator. It was Robocop's uh, my vehicle. Yeah, that's so cool. Like this thing, I'm gonna yank off. I might try to. I gotta get my screwdriver. Because what I'm gonna do is I can pop these tabs off. And I gotta pop them off up here. It's gonna be a little tricky to do. But if I can pop those tabs off, I can pull that chrome skull off. So there's no business being there. Because it's supposed to just be a vent, but I think it's just hollow. I think I think they even I think they just left a piece off. Because you can see, like it's not even really supposed to be there. I think they just slapped that on there because they're like, uh, we'll put this here. Like this piece was always here from what you can see from the pictures. You know, like it, it looks the same. And the other indicative moment that is for them, and not for Robo and for Terminator, look at the chair. You see the seat? You see that slot? That's with the slot on his back. So you just take your head on your finger and boop. Fits like a glove. Like he was made for it, which he was. Uh, I don't think his arm will fit up there. Let me put his arm there. Is that even a steering wheel or anything? I think there was supposed to be one in the particular pictures I've seen. We can just chill in there like that. Boom. And that's so cool to me because it's it's like getting an unreleased toy that was actually made. So it's it's like, it's really awesome, actually. Um, like, like the other vehicles, like the Robo Hawk and the Robo Tank, those didn't come out any, anywhere else. So those things, you know, you're never gonna find those. And like I said, this big missile launcher, yeah, it might not be the exact same missile launcher that the original vehicle is supposed to have, but you know what? It's not that bad because the Vandals are still crazy and they would still use a giant missile launcher. Like, oh no, I don't think they would use a bigger one. I'm like, no, they would totally, they're crazy. They would, and they have a guy named Toxic Waste on their team that sprays toxic waste to people. What do you think they were going to use, um, shine missiles on people? They're insane. And it does come with this robotic, uh, mask thing. 
And this was something that you put on Terminator, then you strap it on his head so we can like help him computer aim. And they didn't really have to. See, that's the other thing. All they did was just drill the little holes right here. That's all they did. And because again, like, this isn't supposed to be part of this. Like this could just go over here. Not part of it. Boom. Done. And then this is got a soft rubber tip, so you don't stab your eye out. <laughs> Ooh, you feel that click. If you watch my review with the G.I. Joe figures and those guys. Bombs away. Yeah, that's got some heft to it. That's a big one. Well, you know what it is, too? Probably the reason why they changed the rocket launchers, because Terminator figures are bigger than Robocop figures. You need a bigger missile to knock them over. You know? So you got this honking rocket on there. <laughs> that's a freaking... That's like a nuke that it's launching. It's like, see you guys later. <laughs> it blew up City Hall and everything surrounding it. So I think it's pretty slick. You know, and you know, what's, you know what's funny? The original Vandal 1 had like those weird colors on it. Like it was like, uh, it looks like it's like, you know, like black and green and purple and stuff. I think this colorway actually matches it better. I think this color actually matches because if you look at, if you look ahead on it right here, I mean, like, check him out. Like he's black and red and, you know, a little bit of gray. Dude, boom. It looks like it's his car. Some of you know, like the giant T-1000 skull on the front. Which, we, which we're going to try to take off now. Uh, but boom, there you go. And that's what's so funny about it, because his vehicle wasn't made for Terminator. Like, it, it's so funny, because if you see him on the... Like, where's the box? I'll show you. Like, you see him on the box, and this dude's, like, swimming. Like, this, like, like Headhunter's swimming in this thing. I mean, look at Terminator sitting in that thing. Look at the Terminator sitting in there. Can you see him? Okay. And then look at the Headhunter sitting in the car. Like, he's actually in the car. Terminator's, like, hanging out over the side. Like, he wasn't, because he wasn't built for this car. It's made for him. So, that's, to me, as a person who's a fan of things, like, we all love toys, and we all love hearing about toys that didn't get made. It's that, it was all the stuff that got away. And it's crazy how RoboCop really made so much more stuff. The, the, the RoboCop, the Robo Voice was going to be made, that didn't come out. You know, the Robo Glove ended up becoming a part of a Batman costume uh, role play set for the Dark Knight collection. The Robo Hawk didn't make it. The Vandal 1 got turned into the mobile assault vehicle. The Robo Tank didn't show up at all. You know, so a lot of it, it's cool. They even, they, like, they got as far as showing this on the car. This is on the card back. This is, this was released. This was sold in a store. And kids were like, I wish I could get the Vandal 1, Mommy. And then they didn't make it. Sorry, Billy. No Vandal 1 for you. Unless you were an eagle-eyed little collector, and you came back a few years later when Robocop uh, Terminator came out, and then you're good to go. So we're going to apply our stickers with no instructions, because that's how we roll here on the Obscure Toy Files. They also didn't include instructions. They didn't include instructions? Kenner. You know, I have a complaint. Can you give me instructions? What the hell's wrong with you people? What the hell, guys? All right, from the pictures we can see here, the pictures, it looks like the bigger sticker goes where the steering wheel is, and then the other sticker goes on the side. So that shouldn't be too hard to do. And like I said, I will leave out this Terminator stickle, st stickle, sticker. So this must go here in the front. Um, how does it have it going in there? Do, 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 do. I guess, okay, yeah. So this says it's, it's like that. I like how it says one and two, like there's instructions I'm supposed to be reading. Take that, plot it right there. Shablam. I was recently at a store and they had a Robocopter for $180 in the box. I was like, hmm. So I don't know if I want a Robocopter. It looks pretty cool. I want the Robo Jailer. I don't want to get too many vehicles. But I might end up buying the Robocopter just so I have a vehicle for the guys. Because the Robo Jailer apparently is very hard to get. I want to get it new in the box, so I know it's okay. I'm ready to go, and I effed up this sticker, but it's close enough for me. Yeah, so now I will have Headhunter drive around in the new and improved Vandal 1, and then I will have uh, Scorcher drive around on the Skullhog until I get um, nuclear waster, or toxic waster, I'm going to ride in the back. So, before we continue... I'm going to pause for a second, and I'm going to try to remove this silver T-1000 skull, because I am making this to Vandal 1, and I don't give a monkey butt 
amount of thing for a Terminator. Because it's a little, I mean, it's a, it's a Vandal 1. It's crazy. It, 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 I'm sorry if I'm gushing over this like a moron. But it's just really cool that you have an opportunity to get an unreleased toy. It actually was made. I mean, if you're, if you're a fan of Kenner's Aliens line, there was a mini dropship they made. They released it in VR Troopers. Unchanged, except for the colors. So if you ever wanted to get a dropship from that line, that line, there it is. So it's really it's really cool when Kenner would do that stuff. All right, so give us five seconds. We're going to see if we can... Because I got to... From what I can tell, uh, I have to just push... I got to depress this tab, these two here, and then these two here, and that should make the top lift off. And then I can just go in here and pop that sucker out. So do some movie magic. We'll be back in a sec. Shabam. All right, I'm back. Okay, so... <laughs> all right, so good news. I didn't have to take the whole thing apart. Um, this thing was just glued in. Because... And now it's empty in the front. Okay? So what happened was, back in the day, when they were doing the Vandal 1, um, do a little zoom in there so you could see. Okay. There is a little... There's a vent there, right by, right above the license plate. That vent was a piece. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, that vent was a piece that just went whoop and plugged right in there. And then it made this little piece like that. So all Kenner did was they just designed a different piece for the Terminator 2. <laughs> because, you know, why would a Terminator not drive around with a car with his face on it? So yeah, so now it's, what I'll do is I'll probably get some other piece and just stick it in there to make it a bit more, uh, less open. But for the most part, I'm happy. Uh, like I said, they didn't put a sticker, so there's no Vandal 1 license plate on the end, because the other one had that. Um, and there's also, like, the sticker missing here, which I can put on there at some point. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm, gl I'm glad this is the, uh, the new Vandal 1 now. I'm happy I, I was able to pick this thing up. Uh, the Spokane Action Figures had one in a beaten up box, and it gave me a really good price on it, and I was like, take my money, sir. So yeah, so now we have Headhunter cruising around in his new, improved Vandal 1. Which is really, again, stop gushing about it too much. It's really awesome that I get an opportunity to add an unreleased Robocop vehicle to the collection. So, you know, it's cool, because the bad guys, you know, didn't really have a lot of vehicles. They had a skull hog, and that was it. Robocop had the Robo Jailer, the helicopter, the motorcycle, the Robo One, and then the Robo Command. He had like five vehicles. The man doesn't have anything. So now, Headhunter has his specialized crazy attack vehicle with a giant rocket launcher on it. And then he has the skull hog for the other guys to drive around. So I'm happy with it. I'm very happy. So if you out there are a fan of Robocop toys, if you're a fan of Robocop toys and unproduced stuff, you owe it to yourself. Go pick up a Terminator mobile assault vehicle. They don't go for that much, 30, 40 bucks, sometimes 50. And you don't gotta do a lot of modifications. I took a screwdriver on my on my, on my, my knife, and I just this thing was just glued in there. I, mean, I was looking at it, trying to see how it was attached. It was just chilling out like that. I just went in, and I just went. And wiggle it around a little bit and pop like a weasel on that side. Nice and easy. Nothing crazy. Um, and like I said, just any other accessory bits, like the computer control thing that goes in the back, just don't put it on there. Everything else is exactly the same. Like, if you go on Google and look up some pictures of the Vandal 1, I'll see if I can find pictures and I'll put them in the, in the video, like uh, highlights and stuff, so you can see pictures of it. But that's all it was. It was just, it was just, it was just a car with a missile launcher attached to it. The missile had three, it had three missiles. You know, so it was a bit more formidable because it could shoot three missiles instead of just one big one. But it's not an end of the day thing. Like it's not like you know what it, 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 it didn't have a lot of guns on it anyway. You know, like back in the day, it wasn't like it was outfitted. Like again, you see the picture right there. Like I'm not even exaggerating. And the Vandal One had nothing going on like that, except for a crazy camouflage, you know, color scheme. And like I said, ironically, whether through accident or design, the, the mobile assault vehicle matches. Uh, and hundred better. <laughs> so I think it's awesome. I'm very excited about it. Alright. 
So that was the Boggs. That's me, Boggs, here at Deep Secure Toy Files. Uh, this was our review slash modification of the Terminator 2 Kenner 1991 mobile assault vehicle that was turned into the Vandal 1 from the unreleased uh, wave of Robocop from, I believe, 1990. So, yeah, if you have the opportunity, go check it out. And Headhunter is now going to cruise away in his cool ride. I love my new car. It looks so much like me. See you guys next time.